The lighting. Yeah. The lighting in here is okay? yeah. spotting okay. out a little bit. Really interesting. Yeah. There. Yeah. Like, we've met you before. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 And that really weird tower <laughs> looking place. Yes, that was creepy. Oh, yeah. You that, were in the basement. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was really creepy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Much nicer. <laughs> so we see now that Kristen is capable of having emotions. Can we talk about that? <laughs> Well, she's capable of having emotions. Um, this season, her journey is really all about... Last season, it was about sort of steadily gaining more emotions. And this season, she has them all. And she has how to deal with that, how to manage. We all have our whole lives since we were kids to sort of figure out how to, how to manage your emotions appropriately um, and how to not be a crazy person. <laughs> and so that's really what her journey is this season. So what's that like for you as an actress to play this new version? It's so fun because I get to play essentially two characters within one, you know. Um, and it was great being able to play her last season as such a character. Um, I, a, I, I didn't want to play her in an obvious way. I didn't want her to be super snarky. You know, if she's literally written as a character who has no emotions, then she has to have no emotions. And I think that kind of rubs some people the wrong way a little bit. Um, because they felt that she was unlikable. And I'm sorry, I don't think all women need to be likable. <laughs> and I think that it, you know it's okay to like be, be a little bit different sometimes. So I enjoy playing her as a character. And um, this season has been really fun to sort of branch out. And, and as an actor, like being really able to explore all those emotions is really fun. So, yeah. How is Cameron acclimating after his experience at the end of last season? I mean, he's definitely, you know, he's got a little pep in his step this season, you know? I feel like he, he, he stared death in the face and came out alive on top, and so he's kind of just like, all right, what can't I do, you know? And uh, But aside from that, he's able to kind of come into his own with his relationship and with her son, where he stands there. And uh, he's not as timid about his feelings towards her, and he just kind of puts the ball in the court. He's like, look, you saw what was inside my memories. I can only imagine that you were, you know, you saw what you saw, what the audience knew what you saw. And so he's just like, okay, now what are you going to do about that? Because you know where I stand, you know? And it's obvious to everyone, including yourself, as much as you want to deny it. And um, so it's, it's a nice bit of confidence that he gains. But at the same time, going off of the person from last season to this season, he's able to kind of, I guess, fall in love with her a little bit more because now that she's able, she lets him in a little more this season, and it, she's not as closed off, so he kind of falls for that girl even more so now. Last year he kind of fell for the, you know, the wooden version of it, this year it's like the real version, so I think that also makes things a little more complicated because now she's fully realized and he's even more realized that it's just like, it becomes a little more of a heartbreak when the things don't necessarily go the way he wishes they would. Yeah, but you're acting as if Cameron's like so into her all season, but he's not. He is. <laughs> he is. He's not. He's just waiting around. Well, there's we some interesting twists and turns. <laughs> well, speaking of twists and turns, what more will we find out soon about Kristen's father? You know, so the relationship with Kristen. Kristen's dad is so sort of central to the entire season. He's really the drive. Her mission to find him is really the driving force. But Behind the whole season, so I can't say too much about that. <laughs> but um, but she's very focused on. She finds out. Did we find it? Yeah. You will find out early in the next episode, or if you put the pieces together from from the premiere episode, you'll find out information about her dad that really puts her on this mission to find him. One last question. Um, we've been asked this before, and I think, you know, we, they, they've been teasing that if there's a season three, they, they would expose the, the Citrus program, and so, therefore, our face will be out there, and I would like to see how that affects us personally, and how we kind of have to watch our backs now that people are aware that we're invading private memories, essentially, to, you know, to unsolved clues that may or may not have anything to do with them, but it somehow has something to do with the case, and it's not necessarily our fault, and so we kind of... I'd like to see us get crucified for doing just our jobs, you know, and like how that kind of weird spiral of like we need this to survive, yet it's kind of simultaneously killing us. I second that. I'd like to, just in terms of press, I'd like to continue to see her grow as a woman, 
as a full human being. I feel like in the first season we saw one side of her, in the second season we're seeing another side of her, and it would be really nice to see those all of that meld into kind of a more fully thought 